This is not a test. The pandemic H1N1 or called swine flu has killed over half of the world population in the past six months. For your safety get out. Get. Out. Get. Out. Get. Out. Get. Out. Get. Out. Got some more supplies. They're out there. Great. Yeah, it's about 95. That's just... Wonderful. I'm gonna have to go back out for a little while. Why? Not a lot more supplies. Sam, or Nate, they took Sam. I knew it happened. Just the way that, you know, he's a kind of risk taker. We'll have to manage without him. We Not need one. to send out more people. We he can't wasn't just keep losing people like he's this. Been, he's been going a little bit crazy in the past couple of months, so it'll just give us a little bit more food for our own. Our, we're down. This, this place isn't going to hold us for much longer. We're going to have to move to a new town. Well, then we'll have to set up. Okay, we need to get back outside and get some supplies. Yeah. You see here. Do not open any of these windows or doors. I'm clear. We have secure plastic over it, so no, no airborne things. Even though we know most of us are immune, we still have not finished the tests on some of the other guys. Why? They're always arguing. We need to settle something. How could you not be paranoid in a situation like this? Uh, I'm not. I'm fine. The President Barack Obama, he, he taxed and taxed us H1N1. They vaccines and they just didn't do anything. I thought no it was a joke. I think we need to go now. We're, we're low on ammunition, food. Ammunition. We need oil, we need oil. fire, light, we need oil. batteries. There's a whole other burn pile outside. And I have still a chance that we can. I've had friends that have gone through the same thing too. I'm just I've telling you. I've watched them right by my side, them die. I know what it's like. I know what happens. My whole family died! Down! Jesus. Okay, let's get suited up and get out there. Sorry for the uh, craziness.
footage you are watching is being taken by Kenneth Collins. 10, 17, 18, 2010. We could relocate to this. We could use it as a base. All right. Think it'd be a good idea. We need to get the guys. All right. We need to show them this. Okay. We can bring them over here one at a time. We have more equipment. We can uh, escort them over here. All right. But I need to still check. There may be somebody down there at this basement. Oh, good. to check out the bedrooms. Let's check here first. Open the door. Nothing. You just check this room. Okay, open the door. Oh my god, that thing... Make sure it's dead. Nothing we haven't dealt with before. Okay. Alright, so we need, me and Kenny went upstairs <coughs> and we found one of them in a room. We're going to go barricade it. We're going to search down in any area, rest of the house that we have to search. But I think everything else is fine. Okay, we should go check out the rest of the upstairs. Remember yesterday after what we found? We can go back up there. We're going back up the stairs. Go. You that in there? I think so. I think one of them's in there. What are you doing in here without your gear? <laughs> Where's he bit? Oh, we gotta get him. Get him off the patchy. Uh, he's hurt. God. Tommy! That was one of the infected. Tommy! Bring him in this room here. What are we supposed to do? I don't know if we have any aid, anything, no medical. Let's go check on Connor. Hey, stand up. Tommy, Tommy. Huh? I don't feel good. I need help. Fuck! Oh, 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 Do. There's probably more of them in here. Do we have to leave again? We can't keep wasting time. Let's go.